Hi everyone, my name is Juliana and welcome to my channel. So today in this video I'm going to show you how I've created this look and I'm going to walk you through from the starting point and to the very end I'm going to show you the lighting, all the behind the scenes, etc. and kind of talk through it a little bit. Okay, so first uh, I had the idea to create some beautiful crystal makeup for a very long time because I like shooting fashion and beauty and of course something glamorous and sparkly. It's just I love those things. And if you want to shoot something like that, then I think starting with some um, creative beauty can be a good option for you, um, creating a look. And if you're a photographer for, and you don't have a ability to create makeup then uh, a, a slight suggestion for you again I believe I've spoken about that in my previous videos but again um, if you're a photographer that specializes especially in uh, fashion and beauty or you want to go into fashion and beauty um, there's many many makeup artists and hair artists who would love to collaborate uh, for the content for the social media or for their portfolio. So just research them in your area. You can research on social media or just Google search and contact them. Usually on Instagram is perfect that I'm a photographer and I want to do the shoot. So if you're interested, you can send them the reference images, what you're thinking, or maybe um, if they're down for the shoot, they can send you some of their ideas. Usually there's a lot of uh, other creatives such as um, stylists and hair makeup uh, artists who would love to collaborate with you on the uh, TFB basis, which is time for photo it used to be time for print but obviously no one does prints anymore so yeah so that's kind of the quick tip for you just research if you cannot do makeup by yourself then there's always people who would like to collaborate with you on that uh, for the pictures for their portfolio as well so i have this idea to create crystal makeup for quite some time and i finally did it I must say that I didn't anticipate that it will take that much time. It took me almost two hours, an hour 40 minutes to be precise, to create both of the lids, to cover both lids with crystals. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that if you will get inspired and you will want to create something of that sort, separate the time to make that, to create that look. It's not something 20 minutes. I, I wasn't, I, I didn't think it will take that long. I thought maybe like 30, 40 minutes tops. It took very long because the crystals also sometimes they kind of escape from you and falling down and whatever it is. But in the end, it was worth it. In the end, it was worth it. Look, create gorgeous. It just sparkles so much. I've chosen beautiful turquoise color and I've used Swarovski crystals. Uh, I think I mentioned the uh, in my other video, I don't know if it's on my channel already or not, that um, Swarovski crystals for close-ups really do the justice. They do sparkle more than rhinestones. But if you cannot find Swarovski crystals, so you just don't want to pay because they quite pricey, much pricier than rhinestones, rhinestones will do as well. Or even other option for you, if you want something sparkle, something glamorous, and uh, you don't want to use Swarovski crystals or you don't have them or uh, not even rhinestones, then you can use sequins. So sequins you can get in any art store, like an arts and crafts store, you can find sequins. I even believe that a few days ago I was in Walmart and I saw they have like a bag of different color sequences and I think it was about maybe less than four dollars. I didn't buy it. But I thought about that, maybe next time. Uh, but yes, sequins can be a very good option for you as well because it provides so much sparkle and it just looks so nice in the picture. Those intricate details, those sparkles, those textures, they really bring to image so much. So uh, do not dismiss them. So after I've created this look, and again, it was all about colors so i've decided for lips i've decided to go with glossy red because i wanted to go all glam like there is no tomorrow so 
so I wanted sparkle on the eyes and nice glossy lips. I wasn't really sure with the color because originally, because the color of the uh, stones was turquoise, I wanted to do maybe bright fuchsia and that's why I paint my nails bright fuchsia for it. But I don't have that color, that lip color. So uh, I painted red and I've decided that maybe I will want to change it later in post because when it's a hue, just to change from, add a little bit purple, it's really, really easy. By the way, I will have a, if I don't have it already, then wait for it, it's coming. I already made it a tutorial how to change color of makeup and how add makeup. Uh, so there's very neat tricks and it's much easier than you might think. So yeah, so I was anticipating maybe I will go to change the lip color, but um, I don't know. With red, it actually looks so nice because of course in red, um, there's such a contrasting color and they really bring that vibrance. So for the background, I've chose black color because I think whenever I shoot sparkles and vivid colors, I personally believe that black always works the best. So unless I don't have anything else in mind, I always choose black. Adds that drama and glamour is just what I like. And this is my to-go option for um, bright colors, whenever I shoot bright colors and especially sparkles because it highlights sparkles what color it is. Obviously it's white. So for the black background, it's gonna add, uh, it's gonna highlight it even more. It's gonna bring it up even more. So that's what I've chose, black background. And for the light, I've chose beauty dish or without any modification kind of classic to go lighting. And I just position it front and center. So I, in order to have that kind of classic, uh, beauty light. So that's what I use, that light, what I use through all the shoot, through all the pictures you will see. Uh, very simple, very basic. Again, I'm using uh, a speed light for that. I've used a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and then I've switched to my 50 1.8 uh, to incorporate a little bit of uh, the body shots. And the thing is, the reason why I shoot only close ups with my 70 to 200 and I shoot it only in landscapes because if you have this lens or if you ever hold it in hand, you know it's very heavy. And whenever I, um, I have it on my camera, it's on a tripod. And if I will put it in a position of the portrait position, it starts to slide down. So my tripod cannot hold it. And it's not the tripod itself, it's the part, the, the small part that you actually screw onto the camera that you install, um, what allows to actually your tripod to grab it. Um, it's in the place where it's screwed to the, the, the part, it's actually start to, slide down and I don't know, maybe I need another. Uh, if you have solution, please let me know. I would really like to use my 7200 in my portrait position, but the thing is it's kind of always, with the lens, it's kind of always slide down. And if you know the position, uh, if you know the solution, maybe there has to be some other head for the tripod that can hold it uh, so I can put it in the portrait position. Please do let me know in the comments. I would really appreciate it. I switched lens to 50 mm 1.8 and I took more, a little bit uh, wider frame shots. And then because that's what I love to do, that's what I usually do. Uh, I love natural light so much. So I just turn off my lights and I took a few with natural light as well, just a couple. But just to show that you can 
should you can achieve beautiful results with natural light as well. So whenever you put a lot of effort into creating a look or the styling or just idea for your shoot, usually it pays off and I got many, many beautiful images. In this video, I'm going to show you raw images. It's important once in a while to show the raw images because I feel that um, so many photographers, especially the ones who are starting out or intermediate, whenever you see complete edited work of other photographers, you feel discouraged and intimidated because it looks um, nothing like the pictures that you're taking. So I think it's very important sometimes to show the raw images because editing uh, adds a lot to image, especially when it comes to uh, beauty and fashion. So this time I've decided to show you the raw images. If you want to see edits, you can see them on my Instagram. It's at unitchi underscore photo. You will see the edited uh, versions and you will see my pics because this time I will show you quite a few of them. I will show they all raw. No adjustments whatsoever, no Lightroom, nothing. Uh, the only adjustment that I've made there is crop uh, because that's how I like um, to sort through my images. I crop them to a certain way I like it and then I'm kind of choosing the one I like or don't. So the only adjustments are crops. Other than that, you will see how they come out straight off the camera. Okay, okay, so this is the images that I've got. So here was the pictures that I've taken with this on this photo shoot. Uh, hopefully you like them again. These are all pictures and if you want to see final edits, uh, please uh, go to my Instagram. It's at yulinachi underscore photo. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other suggestions for my upcoming videos. I'll consider it for sure. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be very happy to see you next time on my channel and hopefully see you next time. Bye!